I got a friend who who married his broke up with his wife and married her best friend. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And she the wife couldn't get pregnant. But so they adopted so the best friend could. So they had kids. That, that Do you ever right. feel are we on? Hi. They had real kids. DL's here. Do you ever feel like those sometimes those type of situations, what if it's true love? Yeah, what yeah, if you, you can't help you, you can't with your wife life. and it wasn't right. right. You thought it was right when you were younger, yeah. it wasn't right, and you fall for the best friend, and right. it's true. Listen, love. It's, it's Jerry Springer. Family. It's Jerry Springer type shit. Yo, in my family, I, I won't get specific, but there was You a, just did when you say your family, right? <laughs> very close to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, they'll obviously know who I'm talking about. <laughs> right. But a very dear family member of mine uh left another family member of mine right. after years and years, ended up with someone else who was very controversial, right. made everyone miserable for years. Now, like ten years have passed, and they're still together. You gotta and say it kind of uh, fades. Like, right. It kind of is like, well, things happen. Yeah, you do. can't be mad anymore. You get what you gonna not be family forever. Up, right? You can't be family, especially if it's your parents that do it. Like, you can't only right. be mad for so long. Now, it's it's funny because my like young love is done. My 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 young my oldest daughter just broke up with a boyfriend who I never oh. liked. You didn't like him. I didn't dislike. How old's your oldest again? Twenty six. Okay. I didn't dislike him. But uh, when she broke up with him, I was like, good. Talk right in the mic. And when she broke up with him, I was like, good. Because, you know, um, first off, I just didn't feel him. And second off, I just, you know, it, it was too much baby, too much love real quick. But I, I hope she get another boyfriend because her breakup has cost me a lot of fucking money. Man. What do you mean? What do you have to do? I have to, you know, make sure she's all right. You know, because women take that shit really hard, man. I know. Yeah, yeah she's like, she's sad and I got to call her all the time. Well, sure what do you worry about? Your cell phone bills? I mean, what do you have to pay for? No, nah, then I got to, yeah, I got to, she got to come to LA and then she's coming to New York tomorrow. So she, can, oh, she wants yeah, to be with around. you. Yeah, she wants to, yeah, she wants to hang out. I got to take her shopping. And, oh, not to mention if she's with you. Yeah. For Gets hanging out with your side Yeah man That fucked that up And I didn't even know Till like two days ago So now I have to rework tickets And shit like that You know oh. You're, you Do you have You fly side pieces in Yeah Absolutely They're from somewhere else Yes absolutely. New York City is a New York City is like I want to go there Yes Daughters yes. Side yes. pieces yes. Yes. Everyone wants to yes. go But what Everybody, about your wife Who does Yeah my wife You know okay. She's not coming too is she? No No You never know But I hope not That'll be a Have a you ever had A, a wife side piece <laughs> running uh, This is what happened uh, When I was working here I had gotten off work. My, my old lady came to see me, right? And then um, she had her flight. Her, her and my youngest daughter come to see me. Her flight was at 2. So they leave. I'm sitting on the car, the car smoking weed with a shower cap on. I, I, I was going to take a shower, but for some reason I got so high I couldn't get up. It happens <laughs> to the best of us. <laughs> so, with the shower cap is rare, though. The shower cap and white boxer shows on. <laughs> I'm like, is this some kind of fucked up Tyler Perry movie? But, <laughs> but uh, about 9.30... That that night, the keys was in the door. My wife comes back in. She's like, "Oh, my flight got canceled," and uh, you know, so my flight got canceled. So I just came back. So it took you eight hours, seven hours to come. So what she thought was gonna happen was that I oh, what she thought I was gonna be doing something right. So she comes back in. I don't say nothing. I said, "Well, why don't you make something to eat?" I leave my phone there, don't ring, and about an hour and a half later, I said, "You thought you was gonna bust me doing some shit, yeah. did she?" And she said, "No, yes." So, you know. You wouldn't bring it up. You wouldn't bring it home. No, but she thought I was going to be out or, you know. Doing something thought, crazy. Doing something crazy. Now, if you got into a situation where you're on a, this, this doesn't happen that often, but if you're on a cliff and your wife and your side piece were right. both hanging off the cliff. Right. And you had to it's grab right. one. Now, I know what you're going to say for the answer. Right. But my question is, is it so little hesitation that, like, you stomp on the side piece's fingers like, fall? No, no. That, that, well, that's a little that's a little different. I don't know. Oh, that's, I think you have to choose, though. Murder. No, that's murder is what that is. <laughs> that's not. That's not. That, that could never happen. But I would I would grab my, my wife. You right? grab your wife. Oh, absolutely. And you wouldn't hesitate? Uh, no. Would you feel bad? Would you like me? I would feel bad, and I would cover my ears when I heard, oh! <laughs> but I wouldn't stomp her fucking hands. <laughs> I guess that's, that's murder. I guess, yeah, you're right. That is that's actually, murder. That is pure murder. What do you yeah. think about uh? You know, we we missed your uh, political commentaries here in New York. Uh, what you got to weigh in on Anthony Weiner? Well, I, I, well I, he won't drop out of the race, huh? No, no. He he's fighting. Not, nor should he. No, I don't. I think he's a good man. But it, ain't it just like a dick to not know when to pull out? Ain't it just like <laughs> ah, <laughs> catch him at Gotham Comedy Club? It's just like a dick to not pull out on time. Exactly. But I, I think you know. I think he's uh, politically articulate. I think he's just like this city. 
I think he's just this city is 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 gritty and and a little corrupt, but it gets shit done. And I think he's like that. I think it's a little perverse. And so I think he he's a, he's like a that. perfect example of the city. I've noticed lately. I've been watching the news about this guy, Rosemary. You made a good point the other day, because like he got caught sexting, talking dirty on right. the phone, right? But the older people are like, we're like, you're you're an idiot right. for getting caught, right? Or like putting your own picture out on your site, whatever. Older people think this is like. An abomination. No, the, like, the picture. They, oh. my parents, they don't even understand the idea of taking a picture of yourself and sending it. So you know, what's so funny. We used to have to draw pictures of our dick. <laughs> <laughs> we we only had the copy machine. Consuelo, how long are you gonna be on that copy machine? <laughs> but but all of us, all of us have, have you know. I, I think we've all uh, technology is kind of at play here. But he got in trouble. For texting a picture of his dick, that's just that's more dick pride than anything else that's politically messed up. I think, but I think we had we never had this level of technology, so it was just always so instant. Yeah. Have you have be honest? Have you texted a dick of pic course, before? You of have. course, absolutely, regularly or no? Well, you it, I don't like to do it because it takes up two. I have to send three or four attachments, so it's not easy <laughs> for me. You gotta chop it up. You gotta absolutely, chop. absolutely. Part the hook one. that shit is is rough. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hey, bitch, it's still more coming. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't cut middle, your phone off. See, the nice part is in the middle shaft part. Yeah, you can send like four or five pictures. It just looks like it's continuing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. that's still going. Yeah, yeah. No, it really is. But it really <laughs> is. Damn, it's not Instagram. No, 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 no. You are it's, blessed. You are yeah, blessed. Absolutely. Um. All right. Serious note. I think we gotta we gotta go there. Haven't seen you since Trayvon. Right? Yeah. Um. Obviously, I, I I know you've 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 spoken on this publicly uh, already. Absolutely, absolutely. What are you? Are your eyes focused at all on the Jordan Davis case? Well, you, here's the thing: you you could find a, a different tra- tragedy every you know every day, every every few hours to focus on. I think what was so interesting about that case is that it's it was stand your ground. It was the fact that. The, the thing that I took away from that case is it was a young black man who wasn't doing anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what's the difference between him and a young black man who is? So if you can kill a young black man who didn't do anything. Right. Imagine. A, and you can kill a young black man who does do something. Then that means you can kill anybody you want. So uh, you just go and kill you, kids on the corner all you need drugs. is All you need is nighttime and fear and you can get away with killing a young black man. And that's because it's two things. The country never feels sorry for, sorry for a great white shark and a young black male. You never hear nobody wow. having, you know, you never hear Peter or anybody coming out to save a young, a, a great white shark or a young black male because we kill what we fear. And 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 um, and I think that in society, what has happened is now the idea of a young black man is so ingrained in people to be feared. It's so ingrained in 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 the mindset that people. Any set of circumstances they go, I can see how you'd be afraid. You can kill him. Yeah, stand your ground. You got to stand yeah. your ground. Yeah, it's scary. But you've always been able to defend yourself. That's a God-given right. But this is, I don't even have to run. I don't even have to try to preserve life. Right. Not only that, and it, no matter what they're doing, whether they want to throw punches, you can shoot and right, kill. Right, right, right. There's no... Well, it's really a bitch's law. Right. you know, it really is. I ain't going to take an ass whooping. It's really for white dudes who know they can't, shouldn't be on the streets talking shit. <laughs> but exactly that, right. that, 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 that revolver make it all even for them. Um, what did you think about? First of all, what did you think about Obama's uh, speech about uh, basically being black in America? Well, I think every black. The thing that the different, no matter who you are, Latins have some Latins from some regions have different experiences. Some white dudes from some regions have different experience. Like a Jewish dude here and a Jewish dude in Atlanta, different experience. Black men in this country. All have had similar experiences. Wow. There's That's not crazy. one black man who hasn't been profiled, or if it ain't happened, it will. No even matter the, where. No matter where. Even the president of the United States is saying, I got profiled. So he, even the president of the United States got on set, he was followed. Uh, he, he, he's, he was being, he, he got followed, except in the Congress where he can't even get one white person to follow him now. <laughs> Wait, do, were you, were you, t- but were you touched by his, like, I, we were, Ebro was pretty emotional about it, getting of to course. see the president 
uh, relate to people like that in a way that black people have never gotten to experience that well, from the president I, I, ever. Obviously, well, you know, it's funny that for years he never talked about it, whereas a, a white president would. People are forgetting that during the Rodney King debacle, it was uh, the first Bush that ordered the second trial so that he could go, you know, the civil rights violation trial. So it's almost like white people would speak up about race right. more more easily than he would, and it was the first time he ever went. And I don't think it was a uh, politically motivated. I think it, it you know it was just in his heart to have spoken out. It's just a it's a, it's a shame that we just have no compassion or empathy for young black men. It's just a shame. And I have a son, and so you know you hate that guy. Yeah, I, I could. I, I'm afraid of him. No. So you no, know, you tried to kill him. That's when it's dark, one time, you know, <laughs> it's just, it's just, a sh it, to me, it's just, it's how, how old is your son? Twenty three. Where he goes to school? Yeah, he's done now. He's, he, but, but what if they could? T and it's almost like when something happens. Uh, people feel hard pressed to tell you oh this is the good one this is one of the good ones right. he was in school it's always the honor student it's always and so you always have to uh, make a differentiation between all oh, the regular ones that you can kill and this is the good even if Trayvon Martin was doing everything they said he was burglary ain't the death penalty smoking weed ain't the death penalty no, nothing he did was no nothing was even I, close I really I honestly feel, I've been saying this on the radio since it happened I feel like it was a, uh, a not a conspiracy but basically the the prosecution was in on it because they gave him such a high charge that there's no way he was going to get convicted. Well, they, for that. They, well, prosecutions are always like even Casey Anthony they charged him with a bunch of stuff. That's that's not unusual. What it and it's not unusual with that all anything. Like the uh, that case was lost when two things happened. One, she didn't uh, the judge didn't allow the fact that racial profiling to come in, and two, when they picked an the all white female jury, mm -hmm. all white juries very rarely convict a, a, a you know somebody who does something to a black defendant. Very rarely. In fact, it's only happened. It's not. It hadn't even happened in the course of the, in the in the course of American history. It hasn't happened more than twenty times. Wow. That an all that's not even anecdotal. It's just that's that, real. it hasn't really even happened twenty times. Wow. So it's not even it's so rare for it to happen. A southern white jury never they, you know, like look at the Rodney King. They had tape of him getting his ass whipped and they're going, Look at his hand, it's moving right now. He's still fighting. They just always see just like the cop that shot Bell. You know, they they can't they cannot see a black person as a black male as a victim. They can never they see. They always it. see them as a dangerous. They, they always see them as a, as a predator. So they, they, there's no empathy. You you never hear people running out to save white sharks. You never hear people run out to save black men. Do you want to comment or respond to uh, Bill O'Reilly's uh, fine advice that he tried to give black well, here's America? Here's the funny thing. He was talking about single parents, and he was talking about and uh, and what's conf what's confusing to a lot of people. A lot of people may said he made a valid point, except that Trayvon Martin was none of the things he was ascribing to black people. He was he was married. He was he was born to a a couple that was married. They got divorced, and that happens a lot in our family. So all the things, all the uh, the 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 prescriptions that all the things he prescribed for young black well, didn't apply to him. And he said it's not about race. If they, this the cake wasn't about race, when why did the, he said it wasn't about race? But he just looked like people that commit crime. And what do those people look like? He's what happens with people like that, and I've been on the show. Is there's no one to kind of counter and intervene and say, "What about this?" Just like on that jury, there's no one to do that, so he can say whatever he wants. Seventy-five percent of of the people arrested in this country are white. Seventy-five percent of them, but because judges and DAs and prosecutors are white, they go, "Hey, look." Most of them, they go, "Oh, that looks like my nephew," or "That looks like my son." And they have empathy for him. When they, when a dude that looks like me or him comes, they go, well, we got to throw the book at him to show, that, to show these animals that, that they can't run the system, to be hard on them. Well, the thing that I found really offensive about what O'Reilly said was several things, but particularly when he said the black leadership in this country, you know, Jackson, Sharpton, Obama, I was like, how did you well, just he, put Obama in well, the because Fox News that Obama is, is is about as is is about as black he's benign he's not he's a he's the leader of this country who you can't be, to be a, black you can't be the leader you're not a black leader not if you're all. America you're right. leader of the free world have you ever noticed all the black reverends never have a church <laughs> they never <laughs> like, like where can I go see you <laughs> but <laughs> where is your church at it's wherever I am so. <laughs> That's a great the, point. The where's never where's the home church for Sharpton and, <laughs> right, and right. Jesse? It's everywhere. It's wherever the cameras are. 
<laughs> my church is wherever the news is. How did it? Like, how did it's the re- church of CNN. How did no one else, though, speaking of black leadership, in the last 30, 40 years, how were we not afforded one more prominent black leader that was Because the last that? couple got their ass, they got shot. So everyone else was like, Somebody you know what? If, 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 if Sharpton and Jesse want to do it, well, just y'all well, do it. What is the thing? The, the causes before were so stark. Could we vote? Could we live? We want. We want to be treated like human beings. That those causes are very stark, and those causes are actually worth dying for. Right. But now, what's the great? Also, so you can't say nigga no more. That's what you're gonna die for. Right. Is that really worth? Right. It? <laughs> right. Right. Oh, so 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 a school system uh, might uh, you know the judicial system uh, is harder on crack than powder. I mean, how the fuck you gonna uh, you? The, right. the it's causes. Worth, it's are unfair, so but are you gonna die for it? Right. Yeah. Oh there's shit! There's I don't like it. <laughs> right. Right. There's a fight involved, but is it worth? Right. For? I'm I'm gonna fire off a harsh email. <laughs> I'm gonna tweet. I'm gonna really gonna, you? No, you? This is gonna be an aggressive tweet. <laughs> right. A lot right. of exclamation <laughs> points. <laughs> I'm gonna go 150 characters on this one. <laughs> you continue. Oh, right. Right. Tweet. So, you're gonna have to go to tweet longer to <laughs> right. see this one. Right. Uh, what you, you see? I'm sorry to keep throwing random racial questions at oh. you, but what did you? What about the uh, your man on the Eagles, man? Well, uh, Cooper. Yeah. Cooper said, he said, I'll fight every nigga here, but it was at a country concert. <laughs> it was no niggas there. <laughs> if you fought every nigga, what was the name of the dude to do that? Kenny Chesney. Kenny Chesney. Ain't no niggas at the Kenny Chesney concert. <laughs> He'd have to wait till the concert was over and niggas was cleaning up. <laughs> But he ain't fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fuck everybody up at a kid. That's like me. <laughs> That's like you know me going to a fucking. Yeah, ain't nobody going to see Eric but neighbor nigga. <laughs> That's like me going to. I'm gonna beat every white dude ass here. <laughs> That's dumb. That's not even a threat. I, he better hope that, that, that he better hope the nigga that got to throw the ball to him forgive him. Uh-huh. Uh, his stats is going. to But between like Paula Dean, what she said, nigga, and it cost her twelve million dollars. Who knew niggas was so expensive? Why is that though? I don't know. Like what? Like okay, she gets caught up saying the N word. They take all her sponsorship and endorsements away, and he yeah, he had to pay a significant fine. They, so you won't tell what they won't tell what it is. Of yet. course, because nobody knows the nigga rate. That's just <laughs> right, right. how much off. per Edward right. scale. Let's right. be honest. He only yeah. dropped one. Yeah. Paula Dean thousands and was having people dress up as slaves so the rate is totally different here here's the thing i think that people should be allowed to say whatever the fuck they want to say and if i don't dig it i don't paula dean's words has not hurt black people as much as her cookbooks i'd rather have a redneck call me nigga than a doctor tell me i need a heart transplant (laughs) like you can jog off nigga you can't like and if paula dean used olive oil as much as she said nigga she would uh she wouldn't have diabetes (laughs) So it's true. I, I just I but, but do you feel I get I go back and forth even with the most vile hateful things said. I question whether we should completely take away someone's uh, ability people, to make money. Here's what happened, and, and and you should let the market decide that. I don't think we should qu- words in a free society cost, and because what people do is they pretend not to feel like they feel. What they do is say one thing in public and you drive True. that shit on the ground. When you really want to know how somebody feel, go on fucking Twitter or Facebook when people can put an egg out of an avatar. Then they take exact. That's why people are under the misimpression that we are further along than we are because we don't have honest conversations. So when something happened, I they go, I can't believe it happened. A motherfucker should be able to say nigga or whatever the fuck they're going to say and you deal with it or not. But, w- but what we do is drive them underground. Riley Cooper meant what the fuck he said. He meant what he said And now he gotta apologize Because he wants to keep his job Do you think that he hates black people? Um, I think that it's not I think that when It's impossible to be in that I, I will say this It's impossible to be a white wide receiver <laughs> And to not dislike the motherfuckers That's in front of you taking your job I thought you were going to go completely it's, it's, different it's direction. It's impossible. It's impossible. So I don't you don't think he wants you to... He This motherfucker wants you gone. <laughs> <laughs> he true, wants you to like, perish. Because white wide receivers are like a unicorn. Oh, right? yeah. What, you what, do not... Jason that, Seahorn. Well, even he wasn't. No, he was, he was a defensive back. Defensive back. But no, West, you have Welker. West Walker. You have uh, Danny Amendola. Um, there's like a handful of white wide right. receivers, but even them in the slot, and they're in the slot. Yeah, I don't think Cooper's in the slot. No. I think he's a regular wide. And he wouldn't even be starting if my man Macklin hadn't got hurt. Right. Although you know, a quote from Jason Avant was that 
when Macklin got hurt, Cooper's been the one carrying his stuff for him, like really being helpful and subservient to Jeremy right. Macklin. Right. But that's it, probably why he wanted to say it even right. more. Oh, man, I got to carry this nigga's bags. <laughs> I beat every nigga up here at this <laughs> Kenny Chesney concert. Bro, if I see a nigga at this Kenny Chesney concert. What? Hey, guys, hey, what are the odds of seeing any black people? Hey, you know what? I got to deal with all this shit all day long. I'm going to go enjoy right. myself tonight. I'm going to go meet Kenny. <laughs> what you mean I can't meet Kenny? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm fucking every nigga up here. <laughs> what? And you realize also another interesting part of the story is that the N word came out the second the white man was forced to feel like a black person. Right. Because he wasn't allowed right. to go do something. Because white people, I, I'm telling you, even the dynamic between the Congress and the president, those people really feel like I don't care that they are better than him. Oh, yes. They clearly feel like we're white oh, and we're superior to you. It's a fluke that you're here. Right. It's absurd. You know how the fuck it happened. Yo, and you, I, when he first got elected, I was like, yo, they said to themselves, we're going to wait this eight years. Right, now, right. I've been here well, no, four years. They thought it was going to be four years. years. We're going to wait. Oh, you... Oh, you think you're going to do all right. that? Let me wait my four years yeah. now. I've been a senator for however long, right. or a congressman right. for 28 yeah. years. No, and do you remember the white privilege fall? shit? You remember what happened yeah. at the first, uh, his State of the Union? Yeah. You're a liar! Right. No, 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 no one's ever, and a Supreme Court justice did that. No. Yeah. No, it was a congressman. It was a, a congressman, congressman from uh, South Carolina. But remember, the what? Supreme Court was like, <laughs> when he said, this is going to, the, the ruling that they talked about, uh, that it's going to set us back. And he was like, no, that's not true. So he basically called him a liar, too. It's, I think if you want to make. If Are you the, just recently? No, the, 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 it was the same time. Oh, okay. One one was a, it was stated, one, Joe Wilson. Um, he was the dude who yelled liar. Yelled out, but uh, uh, the Supreme Court justice was like when they were talking about Citizens United where people could, you, you, where corporations basically are citizens. Yes. Um, he was like, he's lying. He's not, not true. Not, it's not true. Wow. But another, you want to make this, you, I, I got the solution to make the United States a great country again. We should sell the South. We should sell South Carolina, yep. Mississippi, Arkansas, Don't forget. Tennessee. Come. He won. Um, the big one. Uh, but we can't get rid of what? Florida. We can't get rid of Florida. Florida Why not? gotta go. Florida, no, we need them. Why? We, because they, 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 they oil. Uh, we need Disney World. No, no Disney no. World. No, it's true. Gotta have it. Black take, people love Disney too. You yeah. could take Disney, move it to Miami, slice the bottom, but and get rid of Florida. Florida. Yeah, you could get the part next to Alabama. You yeah, all the way up to Norton. Yeah, you, you can get rid of that. But we got rid of the South. Look at all the hatred, all the vitriol, all the. They like the dumb kid that drops the curb. Like the, it's always the dumb, the dumb kid that's trying. It ain't one fucking thing we need. If we need hatred, we could get it from Texas. You know what I mean? No, that's you know, true. But at least there's other things in Texas. In Texas, oil. We need Texas for their Barbecue. linebackers and their white women. Hundred percent. Linebackers and white women. We need hundred percent true. You can, we can let you can fuck it. You can you. Can, I'm telling you, Mississippi. What? What? what the, no, Tennessee. Uh, South Carolina, to- Alabama, Arkansas. What the fuck we need them for? Um, do you say Louisiana? No, we need Louisiana, uh, fertile land, right? I New know, Orleans. but the, but that, those murder stats in Louisiana, the overall statistics in New Orleans are so bad. It is bringing down the whole curve. No, but they, at least they have other. We, we have to accept. Well, they have jazz, uh, delicious Cajun food. Yes, yes, we can't and party hey, town. Who, who, who right. would we sell it to? Well, China buys everything, America. Yeah. We can sell it to do China. It. We can sell it to Japan. Them Europeans are buy fucking anything. No, and then if Japan gets it or China gets it, all of a sudden, if they if Chinese people and Japanese people take it over, all of a sudden we're gonna see like the South's all productive and awesome. Right. We would well, want no, because they get rid. Of, here's the thing: aren't them the same motherfuckers that always want to get out of the union? They want to secede from the union. Yes, they always want go, motherfucker, go. We we'll say we'll sell you for a Groupon. You don't even have to pay us right now. A Groupon. We will barter. You can if we got rid of the fucking South. We would lose the, the the people that are holding us back. Hundred percent. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Just get rid of them. Call you know Obama. I'm sure give him a yeah, yeah, fucking sell us out. Have you met Obama? Of course. Of course. You see how that stunt? <laughs> Did you see that stunt? Absolutely. Of course. More Absolutely. than once. No. Just yes. <laughs> <laughs> you made it no. sound like you've met him a million times. I bet I had him met him. <laughs> Much money I didn't say. Where, where, you have to say. Where did you meet him? Uh, it was at a fundraiser. <laughs> Did he know who you were? Yeah, he did. Did he call you by name? No. But you knew he knew. Yeah, I did. He had to know. Yeah, he did. He saw the case. Hey, nigga, that's nice. No. <laughs> he, he didn't, didn't do he that. Didn't, no, he didn't do Did you meet Michelle? I have never met Michelle. Just no. just, just, just the president. Me. Yeah. I'm not. Um, uh, $5,000 a plate, motherfucker. You better say hi. No, you got a handshake at least. Chicken is not that nice. 
No. no. They didn't serve you chicken. You get the plate? You get the they, it was the chicken. Plate? They served chicken. Yeah, it was chicken. Wow. It was chicken or steak. You could have, you know. But it wasn't fried chicken. No. It was a big But I, I wouldn't get a fit. I mean, fried chicken is delicious. Fuck it me. is. Yeah. You know who loves fried chicken? Who? Everyone. Every, that's what I was going to say. It, Fuck it. It just doesn't make everybody sleepy. So like, who did we steal that joke from originally? Nick Kroll. Nick Kroll. It's a great joke. <laughs> it's very, very true. Yeah, fried yeah, chicken yeah. is the best. Yeah, it is. Um, it kills you, but yeah. And you are, uh, you are going back to radio. I am. When's that? We start uh, uh, August 19th. You're oh, not in really New York. Like You're not in New York, though, right? No, no. Not you good. guys only have one station here. Yeah, there's no room for you. Yeah, there's there's you have you taken one, one, no, no, one station. They're like, we can we, do whatever we, we, we want. We got you the fuck up out of here? Yeah, the yeah, they did. No, yeah, we, we got them on. Drove me the fuck out of here. So you're going to be on a Chicago... They Chica- starved me out. It was like a siege. We will <laughs> hold this motherfucker's money till he leaves. Oh, uh, no, that honestly was not about you. That was all a plan to get rid of Steve Wilson. I right. want to be really... And we, he still won't leave. And he's still around. He still won't leave. Um... You're going to be on in Chicago? I am going to be in Chicago. I think that's our biggest fit. We've got Birmingham, Chicago. You're not going to go to Chicago, are you? Absolutely. Please don't. I love Chicago. No. don't. You're I not going to come back. Yo, Chicago's yeah, yeah. cool, man. I know. It really Chirac. Is. Yeah, but it that is. part is not. You're not going to go to well, where the bad? downtown area is not understood. I'm going where the white people are. Wherever Canadians go, that's what the fuck I'm going <laughs> Wherever white people on vacation from Vancouver. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Excuse me. Is that a is that a is that a maple leaf? I'm I'm planning my tip. <laughs> you know, uh, Chicago, they're, they're fucking so violent. That state bird is a fucking helicopter. It's, it's, <laughs> it is. It is bad. It, it, man. Oof. And you know, they, it's and and up until this weekend, I guess they had ten killed, forty four shot. It was their lowest murder rate since the mid sixties. No. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It was. Oakland's horrible. Great city, horrible. Bad. Philly can be pretty bad. Philly's great city, bad. It's like the big metropolitan, like New York and L.A., pretty safe, except for Brooklyn and the Bronx. <laughs> and oh, yeah, there's pockets, but you don't <laughs> yeah. get hurt. Not up. pockets, a lot. You motherfuckers last summer shot 85 people. Or yeah, there was, there was, there, it can get shot up a little yeah, bit in the yeah, summer. Summer, yeah. but it's hot. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I mean, and it's Caribbeans. So them motherfuckers, they the West Indians. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, them West Indians. Well, you, kick up they, some dust. you mean that's why they say? You mean that's why they say bullet? I'm gonna tell you something. I was in I was in uh, Toronto last weekend, and then the dude, my driver, said, "Oh, Carabana's here next week." You're I said, going. "I should go," and he go, oh, "Yeah, you are going." I, they said you were going, and he said every year somebody gets shot. Oh, Carabana's yeah. It's- it gets bad. Yeah. Don't get shot. No, nah, no, nah, I'm good. I stay away yeah. from all that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, all that. There's three million black West Indians in one Listen, I know how on a symbol. I know how to move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does get, they get a little ratchet. <laughs> okay, but if, if you were to rank the top five worst cities, and I don't mean yeah. in terms of what the city offers, but in terms of violence. Violence. St. Louis is pretty violent. St. Louis, too. Detroit is violent. I don't even know. Detroit's got to be violent. They're broke, too. Mm-hmm. You know you broke when you got to have Cleveland co-sign for you. <laughs> and so, uh, I, I think uh, Oakland's pretty bad. Obviously, Chicago. Miami's pretty bad. Miami's pretty bad. Yeah, Philly's pretty bad. Every every great that that's the thing. Every all the gr- great cities need no, a, not all the great cities because Baltimore is in there too, and it's not great. Yeah, but I wouldn't say crazy. Baltimore, exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. So Baltimore's Baltimore's, Baltimore's, Baltimore's in on the violent scene, but yeah. not great. Yeah, it's, it, look, at least the other city like Miami. You can see living there, the chance of getting shot is 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 minimized by the fact you're in a great city with Puerto Rican and Cuban women. Oh. You could you could all right. Well, it's you. worth the risk. Right, it's, it's risk worth, versus reward. Right, but what about what? You just in Baltimore getting shot from a bitch from the wire? What the fuck? Yeah. Why are you? Someone from Dundalk right. kills you. That's not what Nobody. you need. Glenn Bernie. Right. 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 That's not what you the need. The Mount Dobbin Mall for what the fuck are you getting shot for there? Right, Chicago, great city, beautiful women, great food. Mm. Worth, you know, worth taking a chance. Right. Yeah. You know. You'll go out there, you'll go a little peek. Uh, yeah. All right, let me right. All right, let me, let me, let me see what this is. But fucking Baltimore, why? To just where you went, uh, yeah, and, and Detroit. I mean, there's a few places, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Like, even, even, like, what well, Cleveland is coming back around. But, like, that Charles Ramsey thing? That Charles Ramsey thing? This, this is how fucked up society is. Speak on the black Charles guy. Ramsey, you remember the dude? Of course. Uh, he was, th- and this dude said he was coming back from McDonald's. So when a motherfucker say McDonald's, McDonald's, <laughs> <laughs> I love that part too. I love that. When a motherfucker say McDonald's, some shit is gonna go left. <laughs> he said, "I heard this girl scream, so I went to go," and and everybody called him a hero. Just you know, newsflash: when a man hears a woman scream, he's supposed to go see what the fuck the matter is. You're not that'll make you a hero. No, it, it makes, makes you, you human. A, yeah, you're an asshole if you slam the door. Right. If the, if you go, if you hear a scream and a girl goes, "Oh, I'm trapped," 
this motherfucker got me trapped and you don't help her open the door, then you are a fucked up human being. And, and I think all that doesn't make you a hero, it makes you human. And then there was a whole bunch of people at the door. But I, the news definitely saw Charles Ramsey, yeah. saw the character that he was, and, and ran with exploit. it. And he went for it, though. He, he did was. go for it. And he's homeless now. Is he, well, is he homeless? Yeah. Is he's he homeless shit. now? Yeah. Yeah, it's possible. Wow. Man. Can't even say to McDonald's? Man, look, but look, no. No, he got lifetime free McDonald's, so his cholesterol would be great. But the bus driver, man, Cleveland's fucked up because the one bus driver uppercutted the bitch out of the window. That was oh, Cleveland? That was Cleveland. The, uh, Ariel Castro, he was a bus driver, chain three bro and another dude had bodies all around his in Cleveland. So no wonder Cle- uh, LeBron got the fuck out of Cleveland. Yeah, I, I completely God. understand. It's a fucking nightmare. Yeah, I, don't I don't understand, understand why anybody was mad at him. <laughs> right. Have you like, ever been to Cleveland? Yes, I've been to Cleveland. Yeah, exactly. So well, yeah, how could you be mad at LeBron James? Uh, for, for fucking, I, 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 I should have been born out here. It's fucking horrible, Cleveland. No one, no one remembers this, but. Um, I've always been confused when we talk about Charles Ramsey because in DC, I'm from DC, and the the sniper was Charles. Oh, Charles Ramsey yeah. was our police chief. He right. was the police chief. Oh, yeah, they yeah, couldn't yeah. talk. He was an well, idiot, yeah. and it was a great story too because he kept having press conferences like three a day right. where he would say absolutely nothing. But he talked so ba- he talked so bad. Magic Johnson went, "What the fuck is this dude talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> you know who talk bad is uh, is uh, Crump, the Trayvon. Martin Lawyer. Oh yeah. Ooh, oh. That's a, how the fuck are you gonna be a spokesperson when you don't know how to spoke? <laughs> that dude. Yo, Between Tyler him, comedy club, all we get along. Him right? and Rachel Gentile. If he had to depose her, that motherfucker. I bet the the court reporters. Said, what the fuck are y'all saying? <laughs> what do you think about uh, about Rachel? Good old Rachel Gentile. I, I didn't think. I think that people talked about her lack of uh, intellect. I didn't think that was. I I thought that you know that's. For, I thought that it's horrible. That she was just mean. Like my mother and them weren't formally educated, but she just was mean. <laughs> and it single handedly, uh, I thought turned. I thought they were gonna do what they were gonna do anyway. But it single handedly put Trayvon. You know, because white people go, oh, if you hang around them, then that's how you are. Yeah. And I thought it was. Just, I thought it was horrible that she. What <laughs> made What made me mad is how she didn't want to be there. He was her friend. You could at least be empathetic enough to at least want to see justice for the dude that's well, your friend. Well, and here's the thing. A lot of people would say, well, you know, people in her situation don't want to talk to the police. She wasn't worried that, in this case, someone was going to kill her for talking. Right. Zimmerman's family right. wasn't going to oh, say. Right. She knew what was going to happen. Right. That's what it was. She knew ain't nothing going to happen, and that's what happened. See, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, but, you, but still, you... Okay, so... You got to represent... You, you, you still... And... and and what pissed me off more was she didn't put an effort in. I thought, well, maybe she did. Maybe that's the best she could do. But now when she started going on this press tour, she put, she, the she put in the effort. And that was just yeah, selfish to was, me. There was people on her side that wanted her to look good when she did TV interviews. But, that, but nobody was on her side when she got Everybody on wanted her. The whole country wanted her to testify well. The Except whole country. The prosecution so you the believe face. the whole country wanted her. I, when I when she came on and I first saw her, I said, "Please don't let. Please yes, let her do well." But so not that, the people. But hold on, you're saying the prosecution coached her intentionally badly? I think they either didn't coach her or riled her How up. How the fuck you gonna coach there? a woman? Uh, you seen these 19 year old kids? You seen them? What the fuck they want to know? If if school couldn't do it. And she, I didn't listen to you. I'm in the motherfucker. When you 19 in the eighth, in the in the uh, in the 12th grade, you ain't been listening. <laughs> Your listening comprehension is. You, that's just fucking true. So yeah, it, it was not that she wasn't smart. It's that she acted like a dickhead. She acted. I don't you know, fuck being smart. None of my kids being smart. She act like you care. No, no. You already know white people are scared of black women to start out with. <laughs> Absolutely. And then she was kind of mean on top. She of was. It. She was mean to me. Like I was going, wow! What a and and the sad thing about it is, people don't get a lot of women get mad, but they, look at the representations of them. Everything's basketball wives, mm. everything's Real Housewives, everything. Every popular depiction of them, that 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 girl you would think was the norm as opposed to being an anomaly. All the shit that they like. Are, is putting them in such a bad light like I can't like my wife got mad she, I like to watch short, Shark Week she likes to watch basketball wives I said they the same motherfucker they both bloodthirsty carnivores <laughs> <laughs> they both and if you gonna call yourself a basketball wife someone you bitches be mad to a basketball player at least isn't that like the bare minimum right you, you, cause you can't call the show what it, what it really is a groupie that fucked the tall guy you can't really call it that <laughs> D.L. Hughley <laughs>